Good morning, everyone. It's Jackie, and I'm going to read out uh, an excerpt out of this book, Fervent, A Woman's Battle Plan for Serious Specific Strategic Prayer by Priscilla, Priscilla Scherer. She is the daughter of Tony Evans, the pastor Tony Evans, and she's listed 10 strategies that the devil will try to come at you and your family. So remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the enemy, the principalities, darkness. So strategy one, he's going to attack your passion. He seeks to dim your whole desire for prayer, dull your interest in spiritual things, and downplay the potency of your most strategic weapons. Two, against your focus. He disguises himself and manipulates your perspective so you end up focusing on the wrong culprit, directing your weapons at the wrong enemy. Strategy three, against your identity. He magnifies your insecurities, leading you to doubt who God says about you, what he says about you, and to discard what he's given you. Ch uh, strategy number four. Against your family. He wants to disintegrate your family, dividing your home, rendering it chaotic, restless, and unfruitful. Strategy five. The devil wants to go against your confidence. He constantly reminds you of your past mistakes and bad choices, hoping to convince you that you're under God's judgment rather than the blood. Strategy six, against your calling. He amplifies fear, worry, and anxiety until they're the loudest voices in your head, causing you to deem the adventure of following God too risky to attempt. Strategy seven, against your purity. He tries to, to tempt you towards certain sins, convincing you that you can tolerate them without risking consequence, knowing they'll only wedge distance between you and God. Strategy eight, against your rest and contentment. He hopes to overload, overload your life and schedule, pressuring you to constantly push beyond your limits, never feeling permission to say no. Strategy nine, against your heart. He uses every opportunity to keep old wounds fresh in mind, knowing that anger and hurt and bitterness and unforgiveness will continue to roll the damage forward. And the last one, strategy 10, against your relationships. He creates disruption and disunity within your circle of friends and with the shared community of the body of Christ. And that's just 10 of them. You know there's way more. He's very clever. But two can play at that game. And with God on our side, taking the lead and setting our own strategy plans, we're already in the vast majority, but we must still be diligent and intentional. We must recognize and cry out against the highly personalized attacks being thrown in our direction. And there's no need to, be, to fear, but just be on your guard. And we better never forget that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Don't forget to say your prayers. Bye-bye.